Marvel Rivals and Path of Exile 2 are now out for PC, and amazingly, both games are playable on macOS using Crossover. Let's check out how to set them up. So we're going to start with Marvel Rivals. Unfortunately for Marvel Rivals, performance right now is just average on most Macs. The developers recommend at least 16GB of RAM for PC, so unfortunately Macs with only 8GB won't perform well. Here's footage of the game running on an M4 Mac Mini with 16GB of RAM at 1080p low settings. If we look at the metal HUD, we can see that RAM usage is nearing 16GB and the FPS hovers around 35FPS with dips even lower when there are lots of enemies on the screen. Performance might improve with updates to Marvel Rivals and the Game Porting Toolkit, but for now I recommend using a Mac with at least 24GB of RAM for the best experience. As of recording this video, Crossover Preview is the only way to play Marvel Rivals on Mac, but hopefully soon it will be available in the public release of Crossover. For those that don't know, Crossover, made by Codeweavers, allows us to play PC games on Mac using Wine. The preview version tests new features before they're added to the main app. However, you'll need a paid copy of Crossover to access the preview version. So here's how to play Marvel Rivals on Mac using Crossover Preview. First, I'm going to go to my web browser and go to Codeweavers.com. If you don't already own a copy of Crossover, you'll need to click Crossover, go to macOS, and then buy a copy of Crossover. Once you make an account, you'll have an email and a password to log into Codeweavers.com. Once you're logged in, you're going to click this little guy up here and go to Preview Downloads. Select Mac Downloads and download the latest version of Crossover Preview. Once your download is complete, go to your Downloads folder and double-click Crossover Preview to unzip it. Now that we have our unzipped Crossover Preview, we can drop it into our Applications folder. Then go to your Applications folder and double-click Crossover Preview to launch it. Next, it's going to ask us to unlock the app with our purchase info, so type in your email address and your password. I love cats. Once Crossover Preview is open, it's time to install Steam. So we can click Steam right here, and we want to make sure that it's installing into a new Windows 10 64-bit bottle, and then we can click Install. Once the Steam Setup window pops up, I'm going to click through it. And for now, I'm going to uncheck Run Steam and just click Finish. So here's our Steam bottle, which contains our Windows copy of Steam. I'm going to go to Advanced Settings and change Graphics to D3D Metal. And our Synchronization, we're going to set to M-Sync. Now I'm going to double click Steam to launch it. Once we're logged into Steam, we can find Marvel Rivals and download it to our Mac. So once the game is downloaded, you can go ahead and click play. And you should get this splash screen with a notice on it. You can click confirm. Then click Continue and Launch. If you get this warning about graphics drivers, you can go ahead and click No. If it's your first time launching the game, you'll need to wait for all of the shaders to cache. Once the shaders are done, we'll get this warning screen and then eventually we'll get to a black login screen. So if it's the first time running the game, Marvel Rivals will be stuck on this login screen. It seems like there's an invisible agreement window that we can't see, but we'll need to click it in order to get into the game. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes the game menu doesn't recognize mouse clicks. So to fix this, I'm going to press Command Tab and then click the game window, which will fix the clicking issue. Next, I'm going to click around the middle of the screen like a madman and try to click the agreement. 
I'm not positive, but I think I found the exact location that you need to click, right where this yellow arrow is pointing, so definitely give that a try. Once you click the agreement, the game should log in, and luckily you'll never have to deal with this issue again. One other thing to note, we've discovered that the game launcher window may have a memory leak. Here's a picture of memory usage after around half an hour of playing Marvel Rivals. It says the launcher window is using over 80 gigabytes of RAM, which if true could definitely be hurting performance. Once in game, I recommend opening Activity Monitor and quitting the Marvel Rivals launcher process. Here's some footage of the game running on an M4 Max MacBook Pro with 36 gigabytes of RAM. Next, let's look at Path of Exile 2. Right now, it's in Early Access and costs $20, but once it leaves Early Access, it'll be free to play. The good news is, Path of Exile 2 will run well on most Macs. I still recommend a Mac with at least 16GB of RAM, but unlike Marvel Rivals, you can likely get by with just 8GB. This is footage of the game running at 1080p low graphics on an M1 Mac Mini with 16GB of RAM. And while performance isn't great, the game is definitely still playable. Overall, we had a very smooth experience testing Paths of Exile 2. There was one crash during testing, but other than that, it worked great. Here's how to launch it. So make sure you have Crossover 24 or Whiskey set up with a Steam bottle and then download Paths of Exile to your Mac. If we try to run the game straight away, it will crash. We'll need to edit a configuration file located in our Documents folder to get the game to launch. So I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to my Documents folder. My Games. I'm going to open the Paths of Exile folder and then I'm going to right-click this .ini file and click Open with Text Edit. Once we have the config file open, we're going to find the line that says Renderer Type equals Vulkan. I'm going to take out Vulkan and type in DirectX12. Next, I'm going to save the document and launch the game. So yeah, Long story short, we've got two more AAA PC games working on Mac on day one. And amazingly, one of them is an online game with anti-cheat. Pretty cool. Hopefully in the near future, Marvel Rivals will be playable on Whiskey and regular crossover. But the fact that it works at all is pretty great. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to check out our other channel, Mac Pro Tips X, to see more Marvel Rivals on Mac gameplay.